hey guys welcome back to ike soft original the channel is ike tech channel and i am very very excited to share with you guys today um what i have here so most people have been wondering on um um on my pc protector software um i created i put it on um udemy and um, people have been complaining a lot on how to open the project so on today's video i'm just going to show you how you can open the project when you are done downloading the source code so now from what you can see here i have a folder here called pc protector i have extracted it onto my computer you can really extract it to anywhere you want to extract it to it doesn't really matter you can extract it to anywhere you want to extract it to so first thing first i just want to open inside this folder and you will see a lot of files here the one i recommend you to open is this pc protector solution and when this software is being you know done opening and all that kind of stuff you will see that there is an error somewhere which we need to fix so we're just going to fix all the errors you know together you know most people face some challenges i want us to solve it all together so this is the first error you will see from most like all the pages you will see this um the type pc protector my resources blah 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 has no property name blah 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 so this means um when you go to the prop project settings go to pc protector properties you will then see most of the resources in here are not being found so that is the reason why you are facing those problems so what i initially did was i have prepared um an image here which you can get it uh, from the description below or you can get it from the updated channel or updated video on udemy you can get access to this then you download it's it is a zip file when you download and you unzip you get all these images so basically how you can fix this is just click on any of these images hold ctrl plus a and remove them just remove everything from here so just have to go to add resources and add existing file just like that and now i am gonna redirect myself to where my images are just hold ctrl a to select everything i mean the images from this particular folder just select everything and after that just click on open and now you see all the images are right here right and now you can see your in within your resources folder you can see there are some um images right in here right so whilst you are done with it just close the project save it and it just saved all the source into a resource folder so just gonna open right up here and that is gonna you know re structure the project once again make sure if you have any form opened up here please just close everything from the top here okay so whilst you are done closing everything just go here to the form one and double click to activate it right here just like that and it's actually gonna load up your project for you that's so simple and if you want to edit any of the source code it is very very simple you just have to edit it according to how you want it to be and you will get it done let's see the next problem when you click on start you know the latest versions are going to tell you that there are some couple of things you have to get in touch with so the first one is actually going to be this file so it says that it's been in the internet or restricted zone or having the mark of the web you know oh, this is very important and this problem is actually coming from um the um from this where this screen is that is the scan center that is where the problem is actually coming from so what we have to do is just redirect yourself to your project and you can see it is coming from the um the controls because it is actually a control you can see it is ctl that means control so inside our control folder here just make sure you click at the top here then you just write either cmd 
or maybe terminal or any i mean whatever you want to use but i want to use powershell and that is going to launch powershell right up here for you yes right so how we can basically fix this is very simple just go here you are in your controls folder so all you have to do is say on block just like this then you add hyphen just like this then you say file just like that space bar then a star sign just like this and that is going to unblock you know that restriction file here after you are done just close the project i mean close the project go back again inside your project folder open your project one more time and boom the problem should be solved well so it's basically looks like it is inside the controls right so let's go to here and inside the controls not in the custom controls but inside the controls let's call in power shell then we just have to say on block hyphen file then the star symbol that should work so now let's just restart the software again so i'm just gonna go back here double click on this basically that should run fine for me well since we have this let's just try running it up again and let's see if there will be any additional error right guys so here you can see the software is actually running perfectly fine and everything seems working fine i mean everything seems working fine yeah all right so that is how you can um get this problem fixed i think most people were wondering how they could get this problem fixed after purchasing the source code from my site or the link below the description so i think this is actually um going to help you guys to achieve whatever you want to achieve and also the update of this software is actually coming when you insert a pen drive is actually going to detect and tell you the actual pen drive which has been inserted and also um you know scan the pen drive automatically that is the new update we're gonna add up to this particular project so if you don't want to miss anything out just watch out for what is coming all right thank you very much and until we meet again on our next amazing episodes have a nice day and ixoft original is out